then we are going to have a paid professional service person to groom your idea for it to become investor rich. So that we push all that's all in the name of Upper Space and Kumasi Entrepreneurs Club to the G Prize Challenge, which the deadline is 18th August. So from the after the pitching night, then for that time you'll be coming to Upper Space to come and meet the professional, those that win. They will schedule the meetings and everything, and then you will be coming here discussing your idea, shaping it, doing your business model and everything to really make it investor ready. And then on August 8th, or even before then, we submit with the hope that even the 12, if you don't win some, no matter what, we will send 12 challenge, we will even get like four, five, four, and we catch. Yes, so that is what we are going to do. Submission deadline for early decision round July 30th at midnight. That one is with them. Extension, blah, blah, blah. Called custom, which is open for anyone or anything who has. So there is another 13 challenge. That is, if your challenges doesn't fall in any of these 12 challenges, that means that you, you've created your challenge. You can also apply with that one. That is a 13 challenge. That means you had your challenge, but it, it, it didn't fall under each of your each of these categories. So that is what we have right now. So we have these um, documents we are going to share. We are printing more dependent. The reason why we stopped the printing is that we, get, we don't know which actual challenge that we have some printed here but it might not be the challenge that you want. So let's start with the first one, which is girls' education. Okay, girls' education is girls' education. Right? Okay. okay, I have global health challenge here. Global health. Governance and infrastructure. Agriculture. This is here. So these are to really show you how to really draft your ideas. Give it to me. Uh, energy challenge. This is the solar and this is the cook. So look at this exact challenge. Agriculture. Is this a cook? I'm coming. Energy. This is solar and this is the cook. Which one? Solar. You take the food. You take the food. Okay, so can all the energy people come to this table? Education challenge. So the education, this is flip, flip the classroom. Uh, improve accountability in education. This is custom challenge, that is if you don't have any, you don't fall under any of these and then this one. Custom. And the agriculture we have, so you know that agriculture had four challenges under it. This one is scale up distribution of quality seeds. Seeds. And this one is increase effective use of fertilizer. Agriculture, who is doing any of that? None of it. So, who hasn't got it? No, we are going to print more, don't worry. I actually wanted to make Which one? The fertilizer. Okay. Seeds. Okay. So, can you join them on that table so that we know that our culture is on that table? So, if you are on your table and you don't know which challenge that you are, you have to. Yeah. Okay, so let me mention the challenges so that you see. Under education, student testing challenge. Okay, so these are what we need. So we will print them as we are doing, we are, uh, doing the three minutes page. 
you go and print them. So we need, who, how many of you need a student testing challenge? Student testing challenge, one, two, three. Okay, so three copies. Business identity. Patient, you want patient identification. So this one is. Okay, so under education and under health, we want patients Okay, uh, governance, student testing, student testing, that means we need four. Please, there are important people. Which challenge don't you have and you want? We have quality seeds, fertilizer, farm practices, and custom agriculture challenge. The custom agriculture challenge means that your challenge is neither of these, but you have a challenge in agriculture. Okay, so that is the one for me. Okay, so we custom no. But then, just like we have custom challenge, you can do education, your education, but it will fall under the 13 challenge. Are you getting it? It doesn't fall under any of their three or four challenges. So, this is our great girls' education, global health, and then education. No, please, 30 seconds. So just the idea, because we have 26 minutes to leave here. Yes, um, my name is Victor Aguanco. Victor Aguanco, and I'll be doing the Flip the Classroom Challenge. Um, I, I am a special reading instructor. I help kids who can read, read, both um, set up. Um, reading clubs in communities and schools. I believe school hours are not enough for most kids for, um, to get what they need. You know, those who are rich, their parents help them in the homes to learn. And you go to our public schools, huge classes, some of them 60s. Last time I was at Premper, huge classes. They don't get what they need, okay? So, Flip the Classroom is going to provide opportunities for kids who can't. Um, who doesn't get enough attention in schools to get what they need after school. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. The next person, fast, 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 fast. Um, okay, timer. Okay, my thoughts about internet consumers. Okay, this is what we're doing. Um, actually, we are looking at a system where we can actually have all the teachers and teachers in terms of one, one network where they can actually have time to share ideas, time to share um, questions, answers, have tutorials, uh, video tutorials, have media classes on the internet, everything on the internet, and also actually help them to have uh, money coming to their pockets. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks, Mr. Mexican. Next person. All right. My name is Lavin from KUSD. We started an initiative last year, 26 Alphabet, which looked at uh, coming uh, students together or pushing students together who are specialized in different areas, not just about uh, having the ability to um, keep knowledge, but then uh, through debating, writing, and also core subjects, uh, quizzes, and spelling bee. So that's where we're putting to right now. So we need uh, also final uh, money to push the project back there. Great. I like that. I'm a poor student and entrepreneur. It's a very profession. Uh, my challenge is to be able to to handle uh, student testing challenge. What we would like to help students is want to make learning a fun, both for teachers and for students, so that people should get to know or um, take part in teaching and learning, so that uh, they will have a very bright future. Thank you. Thank you. That's an info session. Deep price challenge.
There are 12 challenges. Which one is yours, madam? Hello, good evening. Um, my name is Gus Navasari, where we're from Kumasi, Havon, and we launched this community. So our project is basically called the Read and Rise for Change in Kumasi, and our main aim is to target about 25 schools in Kumasi, where we teach students to have a new and an adaptive and an effective learning approach to reading. So we have most students going to the school and teach them, not because they are dumb, but because they probably can't really read well. So our project is to have a special curriculum where we equip teachers, we train teachers to teach these kids with our special curriculum and help them learn and just enjoy reading. You see ladies, one second after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my name is Lydia Mesa from Pazzi Robotics, and our main aim actually is to make available um, affordable robotic um, kits which students can use to learn robotics. Robotics is becoming something today that is uh, helping industries, helping homes, helping organizations. But if you don't get its studies to be done, how can you? We'll be able to use to apply in this present Africa that we have. So, example as I'm holding is a chassis made from local materials and um, everyday materials that students can get their hands on and then be able to use to learn robotics. So, this is what we are doing making robotics chassis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, my name is David Mika and um, my organiz the organization that I have with the Telescope Journalist of Media International and our project is called a mentor program whereby we link tertiary students to um, this school's private community and then um, we help to fill the teachers of their ritual. Oh, I like that. Shop kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is John from Uyasta Academy. Yeah. He's the guy I interviewed on Friday wow. on the wow. Kep page. Yeah. And at Uyasta Academy, we aim at giving skills to people um, from JHS to any level so that they will be able to stand on their own after the training. At the training, we teach you the skill and then we teach you how to make money. So that when you go to the, when you get out, so that when you get out, it's not like you're not going to lose your job. We expect you to create a job so that you will not be searching for one. Thank you. Thank you. So the drinks are from FT Catering Services at SMS. 0500 970 970. That's their number. You will love it. Okay. Um, my name is Steve Gorica from Trinity Software. And I decided to come because I have a similar thing to what I said. What we are doing is that we want to uh, propose a system where we get students from underprivileged background skills in website design. So what we are doing is that we are saying that every business should get online. And we are doing this by training students of underprivileged background because they don't have the network to get themselves jobs when they come to school. So we get these students trained in software or website design. Then we get every website, every company or business online by these students doing the website on a fair trade level. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The next person. Hello, my name is Joaquin. Um, I am going to come out with a system whereby uh, in the rural areas, one household, one solar lamp. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Hello, my name is Sid. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a severe by profession. We are looking at a system where we will replace the traditional way of cooking. 
which is mainly burning of food and food school, preparing our food to increase access to clean, clean and gas stoves. Thank you very much. <laughs> For one kids, that's why. Kids is keep it simple and short. The next person, please. Kofi Akun. Am I the next person? Yes. Hello, my name is Kofi Akun. You call me that, that, that boy from Africa. Um, we have a, um, an app. No, we may not know when, when each and every one of us will be released to that. And when our loved one goes to the blood. So we created an app to link the donor, the hospital and the blood bank so that we could have, you know, efficient blood and whenever we need it, at any particular point in time. Yes, so that's basically it. Thank you. The next person. Education, girls education, whereby we set up, we our aim is to set up 100 schools across Ghana. We have 10 regions, so 10 schools in each region, and we are basically looking on um, the girls and training them, mentoring them on how to be self esteem and also to focus on their education by not getting pregnant and not getting That is what we are aiming to So far, lunch. Three schools in Ashanti region, which is at Ejusu, Yak, and Ejura, and Crescent. So we hope to reach the right. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> and next person. So you all knew how to do this fast, 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 fast. <laughs> right. So this is called the elevator pitch. So we tell you you are supposed to meet. Uh, technical skills and vocational training to um, uh, school job pals or anyone who wants to have these skills and we also give them a training in management, leadership and financial literacy so that they can start their own job when they, when they are done with their training. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Nelson and what we want to do is to try and use local materials which are considered as waste and add value to it in order to solve environmental problems. That's what we want to do. Thank you. Next person, please. And make people. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Rafael. And my idea is to help improve. Um, ways of harvesting crops in a better way. We realize that Ghana is using a lot of food through um, mismanagement and also the main uh, problem is conservation losses. We are not able to uh, arrive or be able to walk along weather. So anytime there's an adverse change of weather, we end up losing. So why not help farmers in a way of drying and also in the absence of the sun we can sell money time and absorb energy from other sources through solar, dry, be able to keep a lot of food for uh, further use or for future use. So this is what we intend to do. Increase Ghana's economy through the sales of cash crops, increase our food basket and also uh, manage time properly. Thank you. Basically, we shall be looking at improving effective fertilizer application, fertilizer acquisition, the type of fertilizer to apply on a particular type of soil. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next question. Please record it. The rest. Need to be able to and the main focus is they getting access to 
quality seeds. So what we do is we supply them with the seeds and then they pay back after they have it. So they have the option to pay back in cash or with their produce. And there's mechanisms to weigh and quantify the produce in their prices to help them achieve what they want to achieve and then to help us make the money what we do. And then later, so thank you. Thank you. Next question. I'm with AgriConnect. Thank you. AgriConnect is an agricultural business organization that is focused on connecting farmers to green markets using technology. Um, we are currently working with over 40 uh, farmers in and around the Kumasi metropolis, mainly vegetable farmers. Um, our products will be hitting the shops of um, shop by game and then some other two um, restaurants at Kumasi more very soon. We also um, do former sensitization programs. Um, one of which is the agribusiness talk to people. We just come up with topics relating to agriculture. We try to implement some of these um, solutions at the local level to make um, agriculture more impactful and sustainable. Thank you. Hello, my name is Samuel Andrew Williams, and um, we have this initiative where we go to these mining sites and other rural areas where we teach the youth how to raise poultry and rabbits, where we use the manure of the poultry and the urine of the rabbits to make um, fertilizers, cheap fertilizers, cheap and affordable fertilizers, then supply it to other farmers, being a cash crop farmers and the vegetable farmers. So that is what we do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Hello, I'm Uri Munga. I'm the Wetland Patient Education Challenge. In Ghana, we have a problem with patient education. So you come out of the platform where you know you find yourself under the group, the patient and medical records and medical records. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, Mr. from Madeley about our well, Madeley is a maternal of this metal of GM that seeks to transform um transform maternal health in the country. Thank you. Thank you, Peter Chief. Hello, my name is Peter Chief. Uh, the challenge I think uh, this evening is to have a committee, a real committee where I went to last week to get uh, portable water so that everybody in their homes can have a clean portable water for their lives. Thank you. Thank you. This is info session under the DeFi challenge. And we all are drinking uh, FT cereal drinks, right? H how does it taste? Oh, please, I need comments. I, I, I have a question. When you taste the original ice cream, you get a diabetes. <laughs> but this one, you're not getting it. Where is it? Okay, so this is FT cereal drink, and I can tell you, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm really, really enjoying myself. It tastes so good. Um, I've tasted it, and I'm telling you, if you are out there, wherever that you are, where we are going to post it, you are drinking FT cereal drink is the drink that you are supposed to drink. You can contact them on 0500 970-970. 0500-970-970. And this info session is sponsored by Harper Space. Harper Space is a co-working space inside a group. They help startups group their ideas. They are at a group opposite the STC yard in the same building as GN Bank. Harper Space, innovation, technology, synergy. It's also sponsored by EMWB Consult. EMWB Consult, what we do is that we train we consult and then we promote businesses, especially startups in sales, marketing, and finance. We do a training every Wednesday from 2 p.m. And then we host a, a program on Facebook every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. You can contact us on 050-859-0888. 050-859-0888. EMWB, see what can be, not just what is. Okay, so this is info session which is happening right here at Papa Space. We group ourselves into agriculture, education, global health, energy, and then girls education. And we have 12 challenges that we are going to work on. And on the 
4th of August or 10th of August, we are going to come here and pitch, choose the best 12 challenges which we are going to groom and then take to apply for the overall G Prize Challenge. And we are hoping to win all the 12. So that would be like how much? Like 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 12. That would be like how much? Excuse me, I didn't come here to eat. I didn't come here to calculate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we have some 10 minutes more. We are supposed to close by 7.30. This time is 8 minutes faster. So this time it's for networking. As I said, it should have been the implementation session. But since most of you are doing your projects yourselves and your teams are not here, it means that your implementation will be done in the house. So this time is for networking. Enjoy the pie, enjoy the drink from FTK Street. Get somebody's That's number. Changing. Did you listen to um, or watch Entrepreneur's Movement yesterday? We talked about networking, how you're supposed to network and what you do during networking. Some of the tips is get the person's contact their details and then when you get home not please after 10 i beg or even after 9 like in the the following day send the person a brief about you let the person know where because you, you might get a person's contact but if the person say hello i'm mommy who is mommy at least give a brief intro about yourself and then link up with the person because i had a lot of the projects and they are really related if you would sleep over it you would really come together and bring one big powerful project to win this award. So sleep over it, get somebody's number, and as I always say, be a boss, date a boss, build that empire. Thank you. Let's go. Let's <laughs> so I'm going back briefly, because some of you are asking me. Now these are the challenges. me to go over there this day because they were not here. These are the challenges. Under girls education, we have the sugar daddy awareness challenge. Under girls education, sugar daddy awareness challenge. Under agriculture, we have quality seed challenge, fertilizer challenge, farm practices challenge, custom agriculture challenge. That is, if you have any custom food challenge under agriculture. And that energy, we have solar lamp challenge and cook stove challenge. That is under energy. And that education, we have flipped classroom challenge and student testing challenge. That is under education. So you should make sure that you have either one of the challenges sheets with you. And that governance, we have transparency challenge. And the third team challenge is custom. That is, if you have a challenge, that wasn't mentioned in all these, but you still want to go ahead. That is what you choose. Thank you. And the next meeting will be on the 3rd of August. Yes, the pitching night is on the 3rd of August. Pitching night, that one is pitching. Okay, our photographer today is photo shoot. 